Welcome back, baby. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to boss up your business with a professional phone number for free. So the site that I'm going to be sharing with you guys is a Google Voice. And the first thing that I recommend you doing, I recommend that you create a Gmail account for your business. So that would be the boss friends group at gmail.com. And if having two email addresses is a lot for you, I'm going to show you how you can set up mail forwarding so that all of the emails that come to the boss friend group at Gmail are automatically forwarded to your personal email so that you don't miss a thing. So once you get to Google Voice, I'm saying that you go to for personal use. If you click for business, it's going to be a fee incurred. So once you go to for personal use, you can pick any of these. Since we're on web, I'm just going to click on web. And it's just going to say, welcome to Google Voice, a free phone number to take control of your communications. It's allowing you to pick what city you're in so that you can get an area code appropriate to it. And it's showing you all of the free phone numbers they have available. So let's go ahead and pick this one. So once you select that phone number, it's going to allow you to, uh, it's going to ask you to verify it. So it's just going to ask you to provide your personal phone number to link it. So once you go through the verification steps, this is going to be the next window that you're taken to. So the cool thing about a Google Voice phone number is one, you can access it via web. Two, you can download the app. So either way, you can be in touch with your um with your clients. So it's pretty cool that you can text from the computer or you can text via phone, whichever way works best. You can also answer the phone and place phone calls via web too. So this is just showing you all of the active phone, all of the active um, text conversations that you're having. These are showing you all the voicemails that you have. And these are showing any messages that you've archived. So now let's talk about some basic settings. So I did not claim any of the numbers, but if I did, it would appear here. My devices would show everything that I'm logged into. So for example, for the one that I have for my clothing store, what I would see under my devices are my iPad, my laptop, and my three phones. My link numbers are um, any phone that I can use to uh, place a phone call from. So typically, that is the number that you use to link uh, to your account. Now, when it's time to place calls, I recommend this always use my phone to place calls that you turn it off. So that's saying if I place a call via web, my phone is going to start ringing. I have to go to it and I have to pick it up and that's going to finish the call. You don't want to do that. If you place a phone call via the web, you want to be able to talk to the person via your computer screen. So this one right here, I recommend you leaving it unchecked. Basically, it's saying if you check this, when somebody calls your Google Voice phone number, it's just going to show you your Google Voice phone number instead of who's calling. When you leave it unchecked, it's going to show you who's calling as well as the Google Voice icon. So now it's a little bit fancy. You can set your availability and you can set do not disturb hours too. You can set a voicemail for this and you can set up web notifications. So basically it means when somebody calls your Google Voice phone number, the internet starts ringing. That's the best way I could put it. Um, payments, you don't really have to worry about payments unless I said you uh, update, you upgrade your account to the workspace or if you're placing international calls. So this explains the fundamentals of your new Google Voice phone number. When you're ready to sign into it, all you have to do is go to uh, googlevoice.com or I'm sorry, voice.google.com and make sure that you're signed into your Gmail account.